more services you have running across different clouds and Kubernetes clusters, the harder it is to ensure that you have a central place to collect service mesh observability data. That's one of the reasons we created Kuma, an open source control plane for service mesh. In this demo, you will learn how to set up and leverage traffic metrics, traffic trace, and log policies that Kuma provides out of the box. Kuma Control command line utility allows you to install different stacks that can support and collect uh, different uh, metric information, tracing information, and logging information. So if you do Kuma Control install logging, it will install Loki. If you do Kuma Control install tracing, it will install Jaeger, and so far and so on. For the sake of this demo, we already pre-populated our service mesh with some of the service data. You can learn how we can install in an enable all these things in our other demos that are available in, in our book. So let's take a look on the probably one of the most important dashboard here called uh, Kuma Mesh. Kuma Mesh has a service map a component that gives you overview of your service mesh. You can see different services that connected to each other. Each individual node of this graph will represent a different service. We also can learn from this graph is a rate of requests, how many requests the service is issuing, and also we can learn about ratio of errors. Traffic information, error codes, and the latency numbers also represented here on this dashboard. So you can have a full overview of what is going on here. So let's explore some of the information that's available. We will start with some traces and let's analyze some traces that happening from the front end application. As you can see from the cascade of the calls that our client issues to different services with front end calls, recommendation, recommendation calls, advertisement, and so far and so on. Also, we can see logs from the different services. So let's pick up a logs from front end application. One of the things that we can see here in, uh, in the logs, so we can learn from a particular container that the sidecar container that will include some of the envoy, we can get actual information about traces and we can drill down in the Jaeger panel and see what is going on and how the services are interacting. So each individual our request will include some of the trace ID information. Kuma comes with a number of useful dashboards out of the box. So first one is a Kuma CP that shows the status that of the control plane. A multiple system administrators we can use this to understand what is going on, if the system is healthy, how the communication is happening between different nodes of service mesh and so far and so on. Next one is the Kuma data plane dashboard. In the Kuma data plane dashboard, we can learn how many data plane sidecar services are running, what's our stats there, and so far so on. We can learn this per particular service. Next dashboard is Kuma service that allows you to see different traffic information that happens on particular services. You can see for particular mesh, we see this advertisement service, see some latency numbers, we see some ingoing, outgoing traffic. Also, there is a useful dashboard that allows you to see traffic between particular service. So in this case, we establish front end and advertisement service and see how the traffic flows through between those. So next, let's use this dashboard to investigate some of the problems that might happen in our system. For this, we will create a fault injection policy that will specify certain interesting parameters in our system. Specifically here, we will introduce some of the delays between front-end service and advertisement service. And every 10% of requests will have one second delay. So we will apply this and let's take a look inside our Kuma Mesh dashboard how this will affect overall application performance. As you can see this from the latency panel, we start seeing that the latency start piling up between our front end and advertisement service. Next, let's introduce another type of uh, fault injection that will introduce a some of the errors while calling card service will be calling checkout service. So every 10% of requests will end up with 404 error. Let's apply this policy and see how it will change overall picture of our application. Now we can see some of the nodes start accumulating some of the errors and our front end service have some errors because cause these uh, communication between different services start getting some errors. So let's take a look. We're using service to service communication to see what is the traffic between our card service and checkout service. We can see on the status code graph how many status codes we have with 404 and how many of those are 200. 
Next, uh, let's do something interesting. We will remove all these fault injections uh, that we have here and we will introduce one, but we're not going to reveal this what it is. So in this case, uh, we will show you how you can use these dashboards for your road cause analysis. So what do we see here on the service map? is that we start getting some errors in the recommendation and payment service. So we will see that the payment service is start getting a lot of um, errors. So let's investigate this by looking into traces. We're going to explore panel, switch to Gagger, and let's find these uh, calls from the front end to whatever service where the status code is 500. We'll use this last five minutes and let's analyze the first trace that we have here. Immediately from the Jaeger uh, panel, we can see that the front end called card service and card service called payment service and payment service called recommendation service. We see that the problem might have inside this recommendation service and we know the exact code that recommendation service throws in. So let's put additional filter for recommendation service and see what else we can find here. Inside this uh, panel, we can see recommendation service have some of the errors. And uh, let's see communication between front end and our recommendation service. So clearly we see the number of errors here is starting piling up. And that's how you can use this panel to investigate and find the problems in your system. Don't forget to check other demos in our virtual demo booth panel where you can learn more things about cloud native connectivity, service mesh and Kong. And with this, and as always, have a nice day.